I ain't got enough bread for all of you. I ain't Jesus. Fuck. Today I'm going to show you how we're using sheep to make bread. Did he just say bread? I think he said bread. I said bread. You want some bread? You want some bread? See ya. So a neighboring farmer has asked us to come and graze their wheat and I've got a really cool farm lesson for you. But first we have to electric fence the wheat. So I'm gonna quickly show you how we do that. It's really, really simple. We use two thin strands of, of wire to go around the field. And then we hook it up to a little unit and battery and it sends out a little electric shock every few seconds. And if the sheep touch it, it just gives them a little electric shock and they learn not to go past that perimeter. Really, really handy once they're trained. Clutch pads and shafts daily. That'll do. Shit. Fuck. Oh man. We'll get there now. Lovely. Indy doing her best Theresa May impression. I have to confess, when me and my friends sort of used to run through the fields of wheat. Farmers could be unhappy with you. Now usually that's a lot quicker, but we don't have a quad bike, so I have to do it on foot. It's pretty painful. You rack up some mileage, I can tell you. Now for your quick farming lesson. 
stick with me because this is really cool so we've got a load of sheep grazing this wheat plant so this is wheat it is the basis of everything um everything that's good in the world we're talking bread pasta pizza doughs all that good stuff as you can see it's got a disease on the leaf this is why we're here now the sheep come along and they eat this off here like this and then they obviously fertilize back out the other end now modern farming methods would be to apply a fungicide to this to kill that disease off of the leaf but we're using the sheep instead and they're cycling the nutrients out the back end fertilizing the grounds behind them that in turn is feeding the soil microbes improving soil health the whole shebang how cool is that secondly which i think is the coolest part is the next stage would be to apply a growth regulator to this plant but we're using the sheep to do that too because the growth regulator is a chemical and the sheep's saliva the enzyme there's an enzyme in the sheep's saliva which basically is it does the exact same thing so it lets this plant know that the sheep are eating it and it's under attack so it goes into defense mode and it dives its roots deeper into the ground that makes that crop a much more drought resilient plant so if it's if we have a drought it's got deeper roots can tap into water deeper down it can also unlock nutrients further down into the soil how good is this now i wanted to show you guys this sort of farming system because the one thing that annoys me about um everything going on in the world right now jesus look at my hair everything going on in the world right now is that we we're all supposed to go vegan and um vegans gonna save the planet and farming practices like this mixed farming this is nothing new by the way this was this is an old school way of doing it before we came more dependent on using these chemicals how natural is that I just want to be able to show you um, that the line is very blurry between growing something vegan and not eating meat because your Sunday roast actually helps produce your baked beans on toast. You can keep that one. Not every farm can do this. Um, there's a load of different factors. I'm not telling, saying that using fungicides and stuff is necessarily a bad thing. I just think that this is a really cool way of doing it. I also don't have a clue what I'm talking about. And if you like this kind of stuff, I've got a really good Instagram account for you. I'm going to drop it here if I know how to do that right there. Um, there's someone that I follow on Instagram that's got a really good mixed farm and uh, I just like the way he does stuff. So go and check that out. But in the meantime, this could be the future of farming again. The other benefit to doing this is obviously that the fungicides are quite expensive. Um, I think they save about 40 or 50 pound a hectare. Don't quote me on that. I've never bought any fungicide. But the great thing for me is we get to keep our sheep, sheep out off the farm for even longer. Now we're at the last knockings of February right now. They'll be coming back to lamb. They're lambing in about five weeks time. Um, if we gain an extra week or so off the farm on really good land for them, this is great feed for them and they're happy we're happy everyone's happy i just really like sheep and i love using them as like a for a purpose like this rather than just out on grass and things like that I, I love it when you can use them in a cycle of growing something else um i just think it's really cool so that's the most educational one you're ever going to get from me <sighs> fucking i'm so shit ending these videos starts bad enough so we're going to eat the rest of this field off for a couple more days. Sheep are doing a great job. Indy's doing a bit. Good dog. Farmer's happy. I'm happy. I hate ending these, right? So I find it really cringe, if I'm honest with you. Do I thank you for watching? Thanks for watching my YouTube. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. So you can keep track of me. Keep track of my activities. <laughs> right don't forget to subscribe click that subscribe button now it's right there just click it and you can also click the thumbs up but i'm not as bothered about that i don't think but no actually i am bothered 
click the like, click the subscribe, and I'll do another YouTube. Thanks. That is as good as you're gonna get.